Hello everybody, J-Rock here, trying something a little different than I usually do. It is uh, December 1st, uh, right now it's 2.10 a.m., the wee hours of the morning. This is when I get most of my work done. Now, I'm setting a timer here for 10 minutes, because I don't want it to be too long, but I'm trying my hand at video logs, and why I am doing this, uh, not only to sip a nice hot beverage like everyone else seems to be doing lately. Mm, fuck, that's good. But uh, I'm doing this because I feel like I have a whole bunch of stuff on my backlog of videos that I've been working on and I actually haven't shot anything in like a few weeks. Uh, I actually have a beard. The last video like I shot and got out, uh, Matt Fox uh, game room tour. If you haven't seen my buddy's game room tour I did, check it out. But I was hairless and now I have a beard. So that's how long it was since I shot. So I don't I don't want to get out of touch, you know? Uh, so yeah, uh, Matt Fox's game room tour. I'm still working on getting... A, there's one more video to come out for that. If you haven't seen him, there's a couple out that I already have. And uh, Matt Fox is the owner of the local retro game store, 1UP Games. He's a co-owner with his buddy Mark. And uh, I've been spending a lot of time with Matt. I see him every Saturday and he had me over at his house to do a tour of his game room and just thousands and thousands of games. I mean, the guy's got complete NES, Turbo Graphics, Sega Dreamcast, 32X. Like, these are all complete sets. And then, like, he's got a whole bunch of other stuff, like Super Nintendo, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of games. But just, if you haven't seen those, check them out. Uh, go to my channel or whatever and there's a playlist or I'll put a link in the description check it out so I've been working on that I've also been working on finishing up uh, my super ghouls and ghosts gameplay my playthrough let's play thing and that's taken longer than I and then I anticipated it would just because I've been getting distracted and that's kind of want to that's kind of uh, and that's kind of why I want to do these video logs. Hopefully try to do like a video, video log a week. Just keep up with the news. Uh, you know, keep things current for people that are interested. So that uh, I'll let you know what's going on behind the scenes. Because I shoot a lot of stuff and it sits on the computer for a long time now. Before it gets up there. So just sort of behind the scenes stuff. Uh, up-to-date information on your old buddy J-Rock here. So yeah, I oh, got my got my Cartridge Club Season 1 shirt. Uh, still waiting. To, they have a contest for the people that bought the shirts. I can't wait to see what the prize is for that. My mind is already thinking of what it could be, but I'm not entirely sure, so I don't want to say. But that's awesome. Uh, Cartridge Club, great, great thing. Uh, I picked this up. This isn't a pickup video. This is just a video log, but I picked this up. Uh, the orange box, because Half-Life 2 is December's game of the month. So I picked this up with a day to spare. So yeah. Uh, I have been playing a little bit of Half-Life, the first one, uh, to get a little acquainted with the series, because it actually I missed it. So I'm looking forward to it. I, I've had a lot of fun with Rocket Knight Adventures, which was a nice change of pace to have a uh, platformer and not like, let's say, a long RPG style game like Secret of Mana, which I didn't finish. So yeah, the Cartridge Club, that's going on. Oh yeah, and couple weeks now I guess but the Cartridge Bros gave me a really nice shout out and uh, a video of theirs so thanks guys love you guys keep on doing what you're doing and uh, oh look I have sleeves on my shirt who to thunk it so yeah that's what's been going on with my channel I guess uh, I do I'm working on a special project that I'm not gonna say too much about now but it's sort of like a tribute video and I hope to get that out soon uh, so look forward to that I'm hoping it'll be funny and get a few laughs um, 
yeah, like I said, I'm doing these video logs because I feel like when I do my videos, I like to go through when I'm editing with like a fine tooth comb. You know, if I mention a game, I like to put a graphic up of the game. Or if I mention somebody in their channel, I put a graphic up of their channel and like, you know, doing doing this and doing that. And, and then I, I have to look, walk, watch through for the cues to put in certain things, transition them in, and just, it becomes much longer of a project. So the goal of this is to just be straightforward, 10 minute video logs of uh, what's going on with me. So you can learn more about me and maybe talk about my personal life here and there. And yeah, we can, we can do some bonding guys. Get to know me a little better. So yeah. What else have I been playing? I have been playing... Uh, I just started Tales from the Borderlands, the first episode uh, from Telltale Games. If you're not familiar with their stuff, you should check it out because it's pretty fun and tells a story in a great way to kind of choose your own adventure stories. And uh, they do it with Borderlands now, which is already a pretty well-established franchise. And I actually just started playing it not too long ago within past couple months I started playing Borderlands I beat that uh, just one playthrough and then uh, I'm, I'm playing Borderlands 2 right now and I'm having a lot of fun with it uh, I'm on Xbox 360 so if anyone wants to add me to Xbox 360 if you got that and want to be friends on there my gamer tag is just jrock game rocker all one word leave all that info in the description you know that's way easier than putting it up on the screen I'm not gonna put a graphic usually I would put like a graphic like a call out with the uh, letters, you know, J Rock Game Rocker, Xbox Gamer Tag. But no. No editing. Straightforward with a coffee. Not only did I want it to be with a coffee, but just a moment. Oh, look who it is. It's my buddy Tibble. He was having a nap. See, he's he's alive and well. Doing doing well. My baby. Ah, oh, my baby. Here you get comfortable. Get comfortable there. Yeah, we'll just hold you like a baby. Yeah. So uh he's been in a couple of my videos. People seem to like Tibble and you know, like him enough to start a save Tibble hashtag, which I don't know what that's about. He's in He's really in no immediate danger, I swear. Right, buddy? So yeah. So I figured uh, with these like video logs, I could do like, don't run away. Why are you trying to run away? You're famous. I was thinking with like these video logs, I could try to do like have a coffee as well as like have my kitty. So kitty slash coffee time. It's coffee time, it's kitty time, Tibble time, he's here to stay, unless he's not, cause you don't subscribe, that's my song, better subscribe, or else something bad will happen to this guy, blah blah blah. Yeah, no, we're cool. Tibble is my wife's cat, he is 11 years old, so he's kind of a, he's a senior, oh do you want, he wants to go now? You want to say goodbye one more time? Okay, he doesn't want to hang out. Yeah, he's a bit of a senior, so uh, kind of got to be gentle with him. Uh, I've been with my wife four years. We were dating three years, like three, three quarter years, and we just got married this summer. So that's how long he's been like my cat, and she really does say that he is like my son. Tibble's like my furry son, so you know, I would never ever hit him with a hammer or like starve him to death even though he acts like it but uh yeah apparently he's never uh connected with someone as like a father figure as he has with me so you know i love animals animals are awesome uh i actually own another animal hold on Now, I'm just going to let you know, 
Hopefully you don't, nobody has any phobias here, but uh, I have a pet snake. Yeah, he's, he's in a ball right now because he is a ball python. See him? He was, he was sleeping. I woke him up. He was all curled up in his cave. I've had him for a few years. Probably, probably about four years, I think. Uh, so he's about, I think he might be around six years old. He was maybe a few years old when we got him. Oh, my timer's going off here and I'm just, here, this is my snake. Yeah, his, his name is Paul Stanley. Uh, I named him after the singer of Kiss. Uh, I don't know, just because I'm a fan of Kiss and yeah, cool. He's really awesome. You know, people are afraid of snakes, but they shouldn't be, because, like, look at this. Yeah, he would never bite me. Yeah, he's really cool, and he's not venomous, and he's my buddy. And, yeah, so what I wanted to say, because I was talking about animals, is, because I own this snake, he eats live rats. And so, I have to go to the reptile store every couple of weeks to get him a live rat. Uh, yeah, I'm talking about you. And uh, so I know the guy that works there, his name's Rob, and we've talked about in the future, hopefully doing some videos on some of the exotic animals they have in the store there. So, you know, that'll be interesting. I look forward to that, like so many ideas with my YouTube channel right now. And I just can't get it all done. I can't get it all shot and all edited the way I have it in my head. So, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm gonna try this new video log thing every week. Uh, try to keep up with some some of my ideas to let people know what's going on in my head See if I can get some feedback let you know what's going on in my life and just you know stay in touch So I'm not out of touch So yeah, I better wrap up now before I go too long-winded Talked about games. I was playing projects. I'm working on Tybalt and my snake Paul <gasps> Paul. Paul's a people name <laughs> Not a snake's name. <laughs> oh. Well, been enjoying my coffee and this chat with you people. And I look forward to next time we have a little chat. This has been J-Rock, and keep on rocking them snakes.